Hi guys, today I'm coming to you all with a mirror cutting tutorial. I thought it was so difficult to cut mirrors before, but that's because I bought this tool. I got it from a hardware store and it made it so difficult to cut mirrors that I thought I just couldn't cut mirrors. But then I picked up these two tools from on Amazon and it made it so easy to cut the mirrors that I'm going to show you guys how to use it and how easy it is to cut mirrors. So now let's get into the video. Now you want to make sure and have a very clean surface to work from. You don't want any bumps or anything like that on your surface because it would crack the mirror. Now I don't know if you could see this on camera, but the mirror left some marks on my table. Now if you want to prevent marks on your table, you want to cover your surface and protect it. So I'm going to use this red mesh that I bought from the Dollar Tree to cover my surface and to protect it. Now I didn't use any, but you want to make sure and wear gloves or something to protect your hand because glass is very dangerous. You could get splinters or something like that. So you want to make sure and protect yourself and use some gloves. Once you have your surface protected, you want to get a piece of scrap mirror. Now if you want, you could make some marks on your mirror, how much you want your mirror to be. I'm going to make some little half inch notches on the mirror. But since this isn't straight, I would just work with this. Or you could put it in the inside here, where it's a straight line, and then you could do the same thing here, just to get an idea of where you want to cut. Now I would start with this one because this one would be what most people would use. Now there's an area here to put in some oil so that you could not have to dip it into oil every time you have to cut a piece. Now I've also went ahead and got this on Amazon as well. It's a three-in-one oil and I've put a few drops of that inside of here and we're going to use that to cut the glass. Now you want to take your ruler and put it about a meter away from your mark because you have to account for this part of the tool that's before the blade. So you want to put your ruler a little bit away from where your mark is and what I like to do first is to test and just pass one drop just to see if it lines up on the mark. Once I see that it lines up on the mark, then you want to put a slight press from the starting. And you need to hear that scraping mark going across the glass. Now I'm going to do one more, do a test, just to make sure that it's on the mark and run it. Now you need to hear that mark. Now you want to take these two fingers and put it in the middle of the line on the back of the mirror. And you want to take your two thumbs, put it in the front and have it on the sides of the line. And then you want to push up with these in the back and you want to pull with your thumbs to the front. It's as easy as this and then you just break it as easy as that. Now I'm going to do the second one that I drew and you do the same thing. Now I'm going to show you guys using this one. This is for people that have carpet tunnel. Now I have carpet tunnel, so this is the one that I'll mainly be using. It's just the same as using the other one, but this gives you a grip that you could hold on to. Now I would have the links for all of these in the description down below, so you could check the link and see where you could get them. Now you just want to start at the edge and press. Now you want to start these on a piece of glass that is not the project that you're going to be working on. You want to do a test because you want to be able to see just how much pressure you need. Now it took me about three to four tries to get the hang of it. So you take your thumbs and you pull to the side and push up to the back. And it's easy as that. And that's how easy it is to get your pieces. And the bigger the piece you cut, it's the easier it would be. So the narrower you go, it's the harder. So if you could do it at a half an inch, you'll definitely be able to do it at a bigger piece. Now I'll show you what happened when I used the one that I bought from the hardware store. And this one doesn't have a place for the oil, so I've put some oil in a bowl and you'll just dip it. And nothing is happening. 
it just chipped off a piece of my glass. It either broke the glass when I placed too much pressure or it just didn't work at all. So I thought I just couldn't cut glass but then when I ordered these from an Amazon because I thought I couldn't cut glass I stayed a month and a half before trying these and when I finally tried them I realized it was very easy to cut glass. I was just using the wrong tools. So I'm going to show you these again. Now I've never tried cutting squares this way before but I'm going to try cutting some squares here on camera. I've already went ahead and put some lines and I'll just follow those lines and try to see if I could cut some squares. Now I'm going to use this one because it's easier to grip. And before I break them I'll try to go this way and this is just using Dollar Tree mirrors okay so this piece is already broken off and let's see if we got the squares Yes, we got the squares and that's how easy it is to be able to get squares. Now if you wanted to do squares, and these is just big squares for whatever project we want. I also went ahead, let me break off these so that they won't be in the way. I've also bought this super cutter from Amazon as well, talking about squares, and I'm going to test this out as well. I wish I had a wider piece of glass to show you all the whole circle, but we could get the idea from this. And do the same thing. Oh, oh wow. If you have a bigger piece of glass, let me see if I could find a bigger piece of glass. Although this was pretty cool. I guess I could do something with this. Now we only have a small piece of glass, so I would take the handle and I would move it around. And that's it. Now I think I should have pressed hard here. It doesn't seem like I pressed hard enough. But they say you should only go around once, so I would score and try to see if I could work with that. So I would make some scores. I would make about four scores. And I'll make another one. Now if you're doing a bigger piece of glass, it would be easier. But this is the size I had, so I'm going to work with this. Now you want to do the same thing as the straight one. You want to make sure and have your fingers at the crack. Here where you want it to crack. And then easily try to get that. And that's one piece off. Now it have a little piece that didn't come off here. I guess I might have to get a file and file off this. If you could see that. But I believe if you could do a small mirror, a big mirror is much easier. So if you could, wow. Okay. So if we could get this off, it would be easier to do a bigger piece of a mirror. Now if you want you could take it and then you could just freehand just freehand any design you want 
and then just the same way that's how easy it is to freehand and you could just measure with the ruler if you want straight lines and use the circle cutter to get circles and that's how easy it is to use these cutters I would leave the links for these in the description down below in the video now if you like this video you may also like these as well and don't forget to like comment and subscribe see you in the next video